What is up guys, Mike it's Mimo here and uh, once again welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to uh, the Gothic 3 playthrough of the Hashishin aka Beliar. Welcome, this is uh, I think it was episode 7, it's really bad and I can't, you know, I can't remember but I'm pretty sure it was episode 7 in this particular episode we're gonna go to Trellis and uh, this is the fact that I do not have one match. I need one more magic ore in order to buy Thorax a slave. I don't have that one yet, so I can't complete that quest. So we're gonna go to uh, Trellis, which is th the last city in Mertana that we're gonna get before we're gonna go to the desert. So without further ado, guys, let's go to Trellis. first quickly get a skeleton Beliar grant me power over death and destruction hundred seventy five is the next one. Eight learning points left. Let's quickly go to the fire mage. See if I can boost my age knowledge for five learning points because as soon as I have to, you know, invest ten learning points for five age knowledge, that's where I will cut it off and, uh, you know, get the rest of the age knowledge through books, tablets, and what have you. so that I can use the other, you know, instead of wasting 10 learning points for, let's say, 5 age knowledge, I can then waste 10 learning points for, let's say, 10 strength, you know, so that will be a better investment. So co let's quickly uh, talk with Rakus. Teach me something about ancient magic. That's the way. Kellyab. That's the way. So 115 age knowledge. How much do I need for that one? A hundred, so I can learn that one now as well. Um, hmm, maybe I should have done that one. Oh, it doesn't really matter. You know, either way, the job has to get done. All right, so let's go to Trellis for real. So the next thing I'm gonna focus on is at least ten more. Uh, I'm thinking, right? yeah, at least ten more eight, uh, hunting and fifty nine strength. So those uh, will come next after age knowledge.
you guys tuning in, right? Good spot, man. Sorry, sir. You're creeping around like a thief. No. No, I'm not. No. Now, this guy is a very good spot to, uh, get the amount of sauce you need because he, of the fact that it's infinite you know which is what I will do you know just I will do that once I really need the sauce you know if I can find them at merchants I will purchase them at merchants but saws and hammers are very hard to get um, they don't always sell at merchants you know so you can use guys like these to uh, in this case for the saw, you know, to generate it unlimitedly to get the five saws you need for Vanguard the capital. As well as uh inside trellis you or oh, was it trellis? No 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 Geldern. Geldern I think. You can uh, find infinite hammers. Provided you let the NPC, you know, continuously hammer. Creeping around like a thief. No! Hey you, what are you doing sneaking around? Yeah, don't don't ask me why, but the developers, you know, thought it would be more funnier to uh, stop the animation in sneaking mode. Bet you came to demand the rent, right? But I cannot pay. Those thieving scum have stolen it all. Oh, damn it. See? Here they go again. There's another one of those damn beasts. Kill the gobos. Good thing I quick saved because Tab didn't respawn. Loading, 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 loading. Hurry! Ten years later. Those beasts. What a load of BS. See what a load of BS?
Look at this bullshit. Can you knock them down? No. No. What a load of bullshit, seriously. Sometimes, you know, the bugs, the glitches within this game. It's just sad, man, it's just sad. It totally destroys the series in overall, you know. But not as bad as Forsaken God does and Gothic 4. Those games, you know, Gothic, uh, Gothic 3, Forsaken Gods, Gothic 4, and Gothic 4 Fall of Satirith. Totally ruined the game. Well, the series. Uh, get away with that nonsense. <laughs> that invisible wall. takes care of that those filthy thieves are taking everything i have where do those thieving goblins come from they keep coming here from up north stealing like there's no tomorrow there must be a nest somewhere along the river i wish someone would find it and sort them out then i could finally do my work here in peace what about your rent the rent money i was going to give Tellus has been stolen those dirty little bastards. Dirty little bastards indeed. You're creeping around like a thief. Hey you, what are you doing sneaking around? Another mercenary. Did you come to make trouble for us too? Beat it. We've already suffered enough. Take it easy, kid. Otherwise, I'll have to teach you a lesson. Come on, then. I'm not afraid of you. It's time somebody taught you some manners. Then show me what you've got. Now we'll see who's stronger. There's a fight. Showed him. Uh. I'm ready for the big pop in a minute. Ooh. What's happening? 
Let's see if they attack my skeleton. I hate the beasts. I guess that's a yes. Don't fucking kill him. Yeah, that was a what that was something I was already afraid of, god damn it. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit hard to speak things out. Just give me a second guys, I need something to drink, so one second. All right, so let's continue. Can't we just get along? Damn, every bone in my body hurts. What do you want from me anyway, you head case? Kind of thing you were asking. A servant like you shouldn't talk so big. Servant? I am no servant. I know important people. Who? Um, the orcs at the temple excavation to the south, for example. Who exactly? Um, the Overseer? Yeah, that's it. The Overseer there. What's his name? Why would I remember? Those orcs all look alike. I don't believe a word of it. Really? I worked for the orcs at the temple. My shovel must be lying around somewhere over there. Really? Take a look if you don't believe me. And what's in it for me if I find your rotten old shovel? If you bring me my shovel, I'll tell you how you can get your hands on a lot of gold. Really? This is getting better and better. Hey, I may be a hothead, but I'm not a liar. Got it? We'll see. I think I'll just come by now and then to smash your face. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll keep my mouth shut. Yeah, it surely is in a laggy mood. Even though I got 16 gigabytes of RAM.
not like that. job skeleton But they actually managed to defeat my skeleton, who would have thought? I want to test something. I want to see if uh, animals run away once you poison them. If that's not the case, then I can take care of the, you know, cows at Reddick. Um, Okara.
so they do run away but only one of them so that's good an opening locks nope well this area is clear <laughs> The cave of the thieving goblins to the north has been cleaned out. There will be no more goblins coming from there. Thank Enos. Now there will be some peace and quiet on my farm. Thank you very much, stranger. May this little reward help you on your way. Show me your goods. Not quite sh sure if I re I uh, I have a recipe for booze. Let me let me quickly check. Really, I can already create broadswords. I can make quite a bit of gold out of those. But no booze recipe. <laughs> All right, so let's go to uh, the temple I will first go to Trellis before I will go to the temple. close. Now the other blood flyers probably, yup. <laughs> so 
75 damage, so even the broadsword will not be better than this stuff. Unless I sharpen it, then it will be better. Howdy ho! Move along, Mora. Who's in charge here? Vec is the lord of this castle. But if you want to talk to someone responsible here, then you had better go to Thoris. He is a Mora like you. He usually stands on the bridge at the south gate of Trellis. That is, at the gate on the other side of the moat here. He'll take care of you. All right. Is that supposed to insult me? Tell me what you need, and then go. I'm busy. I need weapons. I have a few things for a fighter like you. Can you teach me how to be a smith? I'm supposed to teach you? Bah! Why? What have you done for me? You are permitted to wield your weapon for the Orc people. Isn't that enough for you? Who taught you how to be a smith? We Orcs are warriors. Many of us are masters of this art. Often it is passed down from father to son. Are you a good smith? I should certainly think so. Many warriors have gone to battle successfully with my blades. But that was not always so. You should have seen my first sword, Mora. It was shabby with a jagged blade, but I have always carried it with me. It reminds me of my father. You don't have your old sword anymore? No, because that idiotic failure of an overseer, Tempek, just won't listen to what he's told. I said he could take some weapons from my chamber for his excavations at the Eastern Temple. But not the old sword lying on my bed, I said. Tempek must have taken it, the idiot. Show me your goods. Here you know exactly where our friends come from. Uh, he doesn't really have anything interesting, to say the least. Thank you, and my luck. Halt, Mora. Do you have any healing potions? I need healing potions. Give me all you've got, or I'll pound you, understand? Don't you have an alchemist here? No. That's the problem, you wise guy. Were you going to get one for us, then? All right. I'll get you an alchemist. Well, I can't wait to see how you will go about that. Have you got a hint for me? That slimy Mora Avogadra was our alchemist. Just took off the bastard. Make yourself useful, Mora. I don't think I had a healing potion. Nope. And Enos spoke to the Eternal Wanderer. Lay aside your staff, and in its stead, Enos gave him the scepter, and the Eternal Wanderer became his servant. Here it says something about alchemy. Here is a healing potion. See? That wasn't so hard. But that still isn't enough. We need more of them. 
I'm sure you can teach me how to fight better. You need it too. You Moras are such a bunch of weenies. You've got to improve. You're right, Mora. You're the weenie. Stop! Not one step further! Whose building is this? The War Council of our Lord Vak meets here, Mora. Okay. Look at me like that. I know that I really have no business being here. You are a paladin. I used to be one, until we lost the war and our rune magic too. Today, I'm nothing but a shadow from the past. Even the great plans of the fire mages aren't going to change that. You are working for the orcs? Of course. Or should I go hide in caves like the rebels do? I'm strong, and I don't want to hide, you know. You're fighting against your own people? Enos has deserted us all. When the rune magic died, so did my faith. I will not raise my sword against the oppressors again, unless Enos gives me back my magic. What great plans of the fire mages would that be? Some mages in Nordmar think they have found a way to restore our magic. That's why they're searching for those old fire chalices. And having them taken to their monastery. What else do you know about the fire chalices? Nothing. I only know where one of them is. And where? In my pocket. I found it among the junk belonging to the soldiers who were driven from this castle. Give me the fire chalice. To do what with it? Whatever you don't seem to be able to do. Hmm. All right. Here, take the thing. Who knows? If you take it to the fire mages in Nordmar, maybe some good will come out of it. No, maybe, maybe not. Be careful what you touch in here, stranger. I will tolerate you in my house only as long as you have gold. I hope you get the point. Who are you? I'm a direct emissary from Vera. My name is Kabir. I buy and sell the rare valuables of the desert. I will make you a powerful man, if you can afford it. If your purse is empty, you might as well not waste my time. Every blessing has its price, as does every curse. You're more than just a merchant, aren't you? How perceptive of you. The orcs are searching throughout the land for relics of the Ancient Ones. We give the orcs free access to all parts of Varak and support them in their excavations. I see to it that the orcs keep up their end of the agreement. You don't say? What's the agreement between you Hashishin and the orcs? We support the orcs, and they pay us for it. It's as simple as that. But Vak has been behind on his payments for a few days now. I cannot say that this pleases me at all. How much gold does Vak still owe you? An inconceivable amount of gold, stranger. If Vak doesn't pay up soon, we will close the gates of Varant to the orcs. We won't open them again until the orcs settle their debt. Tell me more about the relics of the Ancient Ones. The orcs will gather whatever artifacts and ancient writing they can find, but they are most interested in the divine artifacts. They say that the Ancient Ones possessed several of them. That's why they make the humans excavate the old temples in order to find them. What do you know about the divine artifacts? I'm a businessman, not a scholar. The secrets of these rare relics have so far remained concealed from us secular people. Presumably, they are incredibly powerful in the hands of one who is chosen by the gods. But who knows? What divine artifacts have the orcs already found? They say that such an artifact existed in the Eastern Temple of Trellis. Existed? It is no longer there. What makes you so sure? Quite simple. I know where it is. Do you really? Where is the divine artifact from the Eastern Temple? The price for this answer exceeds the capacity of your purse, I'm afraid. What will it take for you to tell me how to get to the divine artifact? Here's the deal, stranger. 
You see to it that Vax sticks to his part of the agreement, and I will help you. I think that is only fair. If you say so. Show me your goods. Oh, you do have arrows, and you do have better weapons. Hmm. I cannot wield those yet. Light armor you will get for free in the desert, so do not buy it. Can, I can't afford it. Hmm. Anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, if you, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and uh, I hope to see you guys in the secondary part of Trellis, episode 7, where we're going to continue completing the area of Trellis as much as we can. Um, since Trellis have no arena, we can probably get it 100% done, and uh, after Trellis we will go towards uh, the desert maybe first the rebel camp i'm not quite sure about that one yet we'll see but uh we'll soon go to the desert so uh yeah thank you guys for watching and uh if you like what you see hit the like button if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run if you're looking for a different path like the human orc mercenaries for the rebels you can already find those on my youtube channel and uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, so that, you know, I can keep uploading the content. The community will eventually have the hardcore run for those that desire it. And, uh, you know, hopefully I will be worthy of your uh, subscription. But that's for the, you guys to decide. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in part two. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.